Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and here we are on the strange stage select screen of Mega Man in Base. So yeah, we're going to be going counterclockwise this time, so we're starting with Cold Man, mainly because I'd like to save a certain someone for last. Pick your refrigerator, Lupita! Yes, he's a refrigerator. It's not as clear a resemblance as the Battle Network version, but still a refrigerator nonetheless. So the graphics in this game are kind of reused from Mega Man 8. In this case, Cold Man Stage is mainly reused graphics from Frost Man Stage, fittingly enough. We also have the skating bunny, Rabaton. Bunny, bunny, bunny. On that note, my friend Kit has started making videos again, so go check out his channel at Kitta4. Give him some support. So here we have Baton M64, basically a faster version of Batonton. You also have Pen Pen EV. If you leave him alive long enough, he starts rocketing around on his belly too low to the ground for you to hit, so take him out before that happens. Down there is a database CD. There's a hundred of them in the game, but I'll be concentrating on getting those on a second run through the game. Right now, I'm just trying to get through the stage as best I can according to my normal rules. So yes, I will be doing an instructional series on how to get all 100 database CDs at a later time. Ah, fragile platforms over death spikes. Always a fun combination. So down here we have the mini-boss, Mr. Snow. The mini-bosses in this game are all really irritating. You can only hit this guy in the face, which has a very small hitbox. The rest of the body deflects your shots. You also have to watch out for all the parachuting snowmen. Him trying to pull you in. Plus, he's just bloody durable. Whoa. Yeah. Come on, die, please, at your leisure. Thank you. Mega Man can slide into that passway, but we'll be. Uh, passway? Passageway. Uh, whatever. We'll be getting to that in another run. This game has a lot of secret passages all over the place due to all the database CDs they hide, so pretty much every stage has various hidden nooks and crannies. This room is kind of mean, all the Dodonpa cannons in just the wrong spots. One just off camera there. Another one there. Die, please. Thank you. More penguins. There's that belly slide I was talking about. And here we have Spinning Gabuol, because every one of the games has to have one of those running around, or spinning around, as the case may be. These machines spit giant hunks of ice at you. The ice chunks can't hurt you by themselves, though they do try to push you into walls, and if they succeed in that, that does hurt you. Whoa. So you have to be careful getting around that. Jet forth, penguins, and become one! There we go. Alright, time to take on Cold Man. His weapon of choice is the Ice Wall. He tries to push it at you, and it also forms a shield for him, so... He... doesn't give you as many opportunities to hit him as other Robot Masters. You kind of want to follow behind it, because sometimes he'll jump at you. Like that. And so that gives you the best opportunity to get away from that. After a jump, he will try to freeze you in place if you get stuck in one of those little icy auras down there. He does all this for the first half of the fight. The first half of the fight lasting until his health is halfway down. My, you're in a jumpy mood today, cold man. Once his health is half down, he starts summoning cold mists. They each take two hits to kill. If they manage to glomp onto you, they don't hurt you, but they severely restrict your movement. Cold man is also invincible while summoning one of these little buggers. But all in all, they're not too tough to deal with if you're careful.
if you get your timing down, the second half of this fight's actually a lot easier than the first half. Just do your best not to get trapped by one of those things. It's one of those fights that's not that difficult, just really drawn out. During the second half of the fight, you don't have to worry about him jumping at you anymore, or trying to freeze you in place. He gives up those attacks to summon the cold mists. Die, cold man. You're defrosted. So there we go, one down. <laughs> Sounds like a classic sci-fi UFO sound there. With that, we get the ice wall. We also actually get nice demonstrations of the weapons in action this time. The ice wall can be ridden, and you can use that to get over spikes sometimes. So it does have its uses, at least. Still, there's plenty of other more useful ice weapons out there. So yes, as you can see, when you defeat a robot master, it opens up more paths, but we'll be going down next. But for now, enjoy some outtakes. Finally, a clear shot of a monopellern. And a really dumb jump. Ah, well, that sucks. The mini bosses in this game are really irritating. This guy is no exception. Yeah! You want to keep as clear a path as you can. And here we have these ice machines. Oh! Ow! More Dodonpa cannons in just the wrong locations. That one especially. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, bother! Cold Man's weapon of choice is the ice wall, which he tries to push into you. It also forms a little barrier, giving him higher defenses, and giving you less opportun- You weren't supposed to do that yet! So, we finally have a foothold in the game. Lovely. Yeah, this was one of the easier ones, and what's gonna be a really tough game. Mainly due to the speed with which I was able to get through this one right after the last video, I give Cold Man a 2 out of 10. The main points in this stage that can cause trouble, there's the fight against Mr. Snow, but if you pay attention to where he's jumping and don't overreact to him, he isn't that bad. Still irritating, but not that bad. The room with the Dodonpa cannons on the fragile ice, now that place is just evil. Some of those are right off camera, and they can hit you before you really can react, so that sucks. Coldman himself really isn't that bad. The main deal with him is learning to follow right behind the ice wall so that if he jumps, you have time to slide under him. Once you learn that, the rest of the fight's easy. The second half of it, when he summons the cold mists, he gets rid of his harder attacks to dodge. He really does. The cold mists are fragile, easily taken down, and as you could see, there was that one that I didn't quite take out in time, but I still had time to correct, so it was an easy fight even if drawn out. So, 2 out of 10 overall. Yeah, this game's gonna cause some hair pulling. This was probably one of the few stages that didn't, really. So, yeah, that's the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.